So in this video guys, I'm going to show you how you cut out a person within After Effects and do something exactly like I'm doing. I'll show you in After Effects. What up? My name is Peter and I help you become a better content creator. And if this video will help you, make sure you smash that thumbs up button so we can keep creating this connection. So when you cut out a person in video, especially when it comes to After Effects, what it's called is using the roto brush. You, what are you doing is you're rotoing someone. Layman terms, you are just creating a mask in video. So what you want to do is you this entire, just me, masked out, remove the whole background. So what can I do next is going to be pretty awesome. So I'm going to just hold Alt to duplicate this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, replace with After Effects composition. And yes, folks, we're going into After Effects to use the roto brush tool. Now we have dynamic link, link open. Now we have is After Effects. So what I'm going to do now is you see this little tool right here, Roto Brush Tool, all right? Click this, and you want to double click on your layer because this is the composition, but you actually want to go into the layer and you have this green tool right here. So if you hold Alt or Command, it will remove. The green is going to add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slowly just outline myself and After Effects will slowly, carefully create an outline around me. And you just want to fix wherever parts where it kind of like messes up. You can also change the how big this is, the overall diameter of your actual brush. And as you can see, it accidentally outlined the chair. So I hold Command. I'm going to drag this down. Drag here as well. And it's pretty intuitive, right? But as you can see, you have all these different tools here. And these are the different ways that you can actually see what is going on, all right? Of what you highlighted, similar to that to when you, you are in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do now is uh, continue using this tool, making sure my head is properly outlined, no chunks are missing. And then all you want to do is you drag it to the end, right? And depending on your overall PC specs, this is is going to take some time, but what After Effects is doing, it is literally masking out the video. It's cutting me out. And because I selected myself, it should be fairly simple where the back is actually a little bit of a depth of field. So there's a separation. So the more different colors I wear and how much contrast I am to the background, it is much easier for After Effects to tell that, hey, mask me out. I don't want anything with the background. And fast forward five to 10 minutes, and now you have your cut out subject or whatever it is that you just masked using a roto brush. And there you go. As you can see, it even masked out my hand, even though I didn't really ask it to, right? So for the most part, all you need to do is you can go back and you can refine this, you know, go on your roto brush tool, you know, click and drag where it messes up. Like here, for example, I can like be like, hey, After Effects, get some of my hand. What are you doing? Hold Alt, you can fix some of this. Right, and then After Effects Road Brush will reanalyze and re-render, pre-render your mask that you have selected. As you can see, you know, some of my head is also cut off here. But you have to wait a while until it like readjusts. And of course, it's not gonna be perfect, but for something that used to people used to do this step frame by frame, guys. And now we have AI that can do it for us. So all you need to do now, jump back into your timeline. You see this dynamic link here. You just masked yourself, right? As you can see, you just completely cut out the background without needing a green screen, without needing anything, right? And now, because this is, I treat this as like a Photoshop layer, you can have text behind you while it is a video. So watch this, guys. So I'm gonna have a text layer. Subscribe now, guys. If you haven't checked out all my resources, subscribe now. And then I'm going to change up my text, hit it with the bebas. You can have the scrolling, but you see it, it's on the top layer. My top layer is essentially a mask. So I'm just going to drag this down to my second. Bam. Now this is a video, right? With having, with me, text behind me, all right? And there's so many different ways that you can play with this. You can have a video behind you, right? 
so it almost makes the video much more depth and dynamic. And this was just me showing you in a quick YouTube tutorial. If I were to go in depth, there are so many things that you can do with the Roto Brush tool. Let your imagination go wild. But that is how you do it. Really simple. That's how I do it. And that, guys, is how you cut out a person effectively in After Effects. And you can use the dynamic link to have that link back to Premiere Pro. And now you can have text behind you in video. You can cut something out. You can now officially become a Roto Master. Or at least it's the beginning of your journey. My name is Peter. If this video has helped you, make sure you grab and learn Premiere Pro. After Effects, all that in the description below, I have my resources. You get 30 days free on Skillshare from me to you. And I hope this video was able to help you. You're watching BBC CEO, where we all serve nothing, but you can always create something.